Hello and welcome back to this board's Gimba and today I want to show you how we can create a bending, schedule for, uh, bending schedules for beams and columns in Tecla Structure Designer. If you take a look on the screen here, you can see a model, a simple model we have. Though we had subjected this to design, but we have some few one, two, three uh, fails on the on the on the design, but that should not worry you. That will be rectified later on and everything will turn green. So in, today I want just to take you quickly on how we can create bending schedules for both column and, and beams. So if you have your model in place like this, you come to draw, then come to schedule management, click on schedule management. And in, in our case, we want to go straight and create uh, create bending schedule for columns. So under, under drawing variants here, we have uh, we have options. We have uh, for, for wall and for beam. So I'll pick for the beam first. So once once I've done so, I'll go ahead and, cl and click Add to Available Drawings. So we'll make this drawing this to be available by clicking Add. So once we've clicked on that, we'll come to Content button here and click on Content button like that. So we have all these. We we want to create the bending schedules for 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 that. So we can select everything as it is. So we click this. Uh, negative sign to summarize everything to make it uh, much simpler to, to select. So I'd select by left clicking on it and left click once again and drag and take it to, to this side. So taking to this side means we've we've selected it and uh, this is the particular detail we want to de de uh, deal with. So I'm going straight and click OK. So once I've clicked OK, I'll come to view drawing button here and click view drawing. So once I've done so, this will take me straight to to other configurations and under drawing. And in here we have bending sh uh, beam schedule and uh, style beam schedule. Then we can modify further the scale to our preferred choice, but I'll just leave it at one to 125. And uh, text height, I'll just leave it at, at five. Then once you've done so, just go ahead and click OK. So once you've clicked OK, everything will be uh, generated in AutoCAD, remember, it, uh, Tecla Structural Design has a link, a direct link to AutoCAD, and that will be exported directly to AutoCAD, and, and you'll be able to see it as simple as it is in your screen on our screen here. You can see all the details here. The marks for all the for all the beams are here, and you can see all the details here. Revision, uh, first span, uh, two beams in group, all that, the centers, all the percentages, all the cutting details are here. You can see all that. You can see all the notes if you need. And that's how you can do that. So this is our bending schedule for the, the for the beams. You can see the concrete beam schedule as detailed here. Top, all, all the details, everything you might need is detailed here. So let's sit back and go back to, to generate the same thing for the columns. So I'll just, uh, just come to the bottom end here and pick on Tecla Structural Designer. And on the same drawing management and on the same dialog box, I'll come here under this drop down arrow and click on that and pick on the column. But prior to that, I want to remove this by selecting selecting it and click remove. So I'm, go, I'm, I'm coming back and clicking column, then click and add it under available drawings, then come here and, and select and uh, click on uh, the content, then minimize that left click and hold and drag it to, to the side of drawing variant. So I'm going to click OK once again and come here and click uh, view drawing. So inside here, I'll be able to modify the only, uh, I'll only be able to modify the scale and the text height. So as it is now, I leave everything on default and click OK. So once you clicked OK, this, this drawing will be generated and exported automatically to AutoCAD. And uh, from AutoCAD, you, you can also uh, now customize it to your liking or to the way you, to, uh, I mean, the way you want it to, to be done. So you can see all these about the beams and all, and uh, even the height of the levels of the beam, all the levels uh, are indicated here. You can see the far end of the uh, full height of, of, our, of our building is 9.6. And the, the beams that appears on every level has been indicated here. You can see all this information are very important and very accurate and neatly done. And as it is, this is the best information and this is the best approach on, uh, if you want to get this kind of information from a model in technical structure designer, you can see that all the information we have, all the weights for the steel needed. This is 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.
one tan sub t of steel required for beams only. So all this, all the, these details, you get it right in some few minutes than doing it manually. That will take some days to get such kind of information. All those details are here. So I hope you've gotten something and try this by yourself. And uh, let's be then on another on another presentation. I'm Morris Dimba, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't and let's meet then. Bye bye.